Hey there, how's it going? This is Matt of Cigar Hound Dog with another cigar review. And today I'll be smoking the San Cristobal Revelation in Mystic. This is a 5.625 by 48 ring gauge box press Corona Gorda. Cigar looks good, has some pretty big bands on it though, but I'll show you the wrapper first. Nice smooth caramel color wrapper. Very nice. There's a foot. Better look at the box press as well. And there are the bands. Very brightly colored bands here. There's a reverse. <clears throat> yeah, as far as a blend goes with this cigar, this cigar has an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, that wrapper over Nick Rogwin binder and fillers. And yeah, as far as my previous experience with San Cristobal, uh, I remember having their original blend when those came out like around 2008 to 2010, somewhere around there. They're good cigars, it's just been a long time since I've had one. I don't think I've ever had any of the subsequent blends that came out after, which includes this one. But I was recently watching a short from Texas Cigar Roadshow. Uh, David, the host, he was smoking one of these cigars and he made it sound very good. So uh, make sure to check out Texas Cigar Roadshow on YouTube. David, he's a super cool guy. And he's a Texan, and he likes cigars. My kind of guy. Yeah, because of all that, I'm looking forward to this one. Let's get it cut up, lit up, and see what we have. Great draw. Slide it up. Well, first of all, I forgot to mention in the intro, this cigar right here has around three years of age on it. Forgot to mention that, at least three years of age, maybe more. Uh, through the retro and palette, the main tone is this cedar, this musty cedar note. That's the main tone by far. Way underneath that, getting this caramel sweetness through the retro and palette. Faint hint of white pepper floral spice through the retro hail. and a little bit of peanut through the retro and palate. Nice start here. Right now, I'll say mild to medium body, fairly short finish, and a smooth smoke texture. Looking forward to the first third, so I'll go ahead and smoke it down through the end of the first third here. Let you know how it goes. Hey, we have come to the end of the first third, right before the secondary band. Nice looking burn line. Ash shit just before this take, and still lots of smoke. Okay, so at this point, medium body, medium length finish, and a slightly syrupy smoke texture. Two main tones right now. We have that musty cedar note along with this orange citrus sweetness that's joined the profile. Through the wrapped on palette, those are the two main tones. A pinch of white pepper floral spice through the wrapped hill. Still have very faint amounts of peanut through the wrapped on palette. and barely any salt on the palate. So yeah, this cigar is not blowing me away, but it's a good cigar overall so far. So we'll go ahead and smoke it down through the end of the second, third, well into that secondary band, probably a little bit into that primary band too. Let you know how it goes. Hey, we have come to the end of the second, third. Nice enough looking burn line. Ashed it a little bit before this take and still lots of smoke. So yeah, at this point, medium body, medium length finish, and a slightly syrupy smoke texture. The main tone right now, it's a citrusy note, but it reminds me a lot of a kumquat. Hopefully YouTube doesn't mistakenly flag me for saying that word. But yeah, uh, it's like those little miniature oranges that you eat with the rind as well. It's a bittersweet citrus note. That's what this cigar reminds me of. Through the retro and palette, that's the main tone. One of the more unique flavors I've ever picked up on a cigar. Through the Retro and Palette, still getting that musty cedar. A little bit of the white pepper floral spice through the Retro Hill. A 
barely any of the peanut through the retro on palate and just a pinch of salt on the palate still. So yeah, uh, took a kind of a bizarre turn here. Let's see how it finishes out. So I'll go ahead and smoke it down through the end of the final third. Now I'll get you the final verdict. Hey, we have come to the end of the final third. A little bit of a wavy burn line, flaky ash, but lots of smoke. Okay, so at this point, medium plus body, long finish, and an aired smoke texture. Not my favorite cigar here in the final third. The main tone is charred wood. Not really ever a good note in my opinion. Charred wood and lime right underneath that through the right tone palette. Uh, a lot more white pepper spice through the retro hill and some salt on the palate. Yeah. So yeah, overall, I'm gonna rate this cigar a pedestrian. It was a good cigar in the first third, a decent cigar, kind of bizarre cigar in the second third, and not a good cigar here in the final third. So overall, a pedestrian score. But if you like uh, kumquats and charred wood, here you go. And one last thing, do not forget to follow me on Rumble and Odyssey with the way YouTube has been restricting and censoring cigar content lately. It is paramount that you know I am on other platforms like Rumble and Odyssey just in case if YouTube pulls the plug at us here if you watch this on YouTube. So yeah everybody, this has been my review of the San Cristobal Revelation and Mystic. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you for the next review.